that's no good. There are a couple of different materials that, you, that these bushings came in. That when I bought, first bought this kit, it had a Delrin bushing, which is an orange, red, sort of pinkish polymer. It's great, it's pretty good, but you gotta keep it in the water or else it will, it will melt. And I've had fishing line get in around it and it got in there and melted it. And so I call the guys, I probably talked to Junior at the shop at SPS and, I, he, and we talked about the, uh, the brass bushing and the wood bushing. And at that time I chose to get a wooden bushing because the brass bushing, the wor thing I worried about it, it was one, it's a lot more expensive. And two, if you had a brass bushing here and a steel element here, you're talking about electrolysis in the water and this thing here thing spinning at 3,600 RPM. You just you know, made a battery there and you gotta worry about extra corrosion and stuff. I decided to get the wooden bushing here. And as you can see, you got a couple of cracks on it here and it's separated here and here there's just a whole lot of play in it. it the bushing itself is worn out the latest technology in tie long tail outboards i don't know what this material is mr dobbs at sps is calling it the bayou bushing and they've been testing this thing for a long time i don't know how long they they have this special test thing where they have ton of muck and mud and sand and grit and every kind of gross thing you could put in like hundreds of hundreds of hours of things are barely getting broken in i mean i called him and talked to him you know these got some nice couple of grooves there to help drain the water they're very self uh, lubricating or whatever i don't know what the material is i don't know if it's a graphite material i don't know if it's a plastic i don't know if it's some combination of the two I don't know if it's Kevlar. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. They don't, they're not saying, you know, they're just I've noticed some of their newer kits. If you check out the, uh, the fella who's at uh, J, uh, the guy JT Gatoring or whatever, he's putting out a series of videos. I'm noticing I'm seeing these these come in in the, uh, the newer kits and whatnot. See, very simple. I mean, very simple, it's a simple screwdriver. I mean, it, you know. And if your screws like that are messed up, you can probably find something else at the hardware store. But I'd recommend when you order this, just tell Junior or Mr. Dobbs to send to get you um, send you a few new screws. They sent me some new ones here. There are three or four new screws here. This wasn't on very tight. I think it's gotten loose. The manual does stipulate to put uh, thread lock on this stuff. You can see the thread locks on there, but you can see how easy it came off. So keep that in mind. This is the prop puller here. I highly recommend going ahead and just buying it. That got it. That got it. It, it didn't break nothing. It, it didn't break nothing. It, it, it's good. And while we have this small prop off, I use the small prop for my hopped up engines. I think I'm going to go with a bigger prop just because it can mean more speed. Worn out. Let's flip them around. You can see, worn out. See, we didn't have to grease it up at all, so I'm not going to worry about greasing it up at all. Now we're talking, fellas. Now we're talking. Keep the other screws in your tackle box just in case you need them again. These have some sort of a bite washer on. I don't know what they call those. I call them bite washers. Don't ask me what size this is. I don't know, man. It's a, uh, always, if you have any questions, always ask Mr. Dobbs and Junior and all them. They're, these guys are like pros at this, man. This is what they do all day, every day. All right, so that's it. Just bam, bam. Half inch bigger all around. See that little groove there? 
There's a matching groove right there, a tongue and groove. Just match them up. It only goes on one way. That's what I love about these props, man. Bam. Skadoosh. Skidoosh. We put some more thread lock on this bad boy. Get the blue stuff. Don't get the red stuff. You'll be married to it. Stuff is old, man. You just start screwing on, man. You don't have to need. You don't need the high temperature version of it either, because this is down in the water where the water's cool and cold and stuff. So you can see there's no play in that, which is exactly how it's supposed to be. you bushing my friends get you one um, this, these are only available for SPS owners as I understand and uh, and this is just the bees knees man it's supposed to last it's supposed, he, I think I heard what like 400 hours just to break them in or something <laughs> you know? or you know so hashtag not sponsored I bought this with my own money so uh, and that's also thanks to all of you who bought the Black Warrior Lures products because it was the Black Warrior Lures product sales that bought this bushing. So, thank you. Thank you. I'll see you guys later. It's time to get some grub.